hello guys welcome back to our channel in this session i am going to show you how to push changes from visual studio to gitlab or github account so let's start now i hope you guys have a gitlab or github account if you do not have please visit to my channel and you will get the, all the recording how to create gitlab or github account okay so currently I'm going with the GitLab account. So this is my GitLab account. So first of all, you will have to create a one repository. So how can we create that? On the left hand side, you will see the plus symbol. Just you'll have to click on here, click on the new project. So once you click on the new project, you will get these four options. You will have to select first one, create a blank project. And you have to provide a project name. So let me provide my project name here like test repo using visual studio so this is my project name then after that we'll have to select a project url so it is completely based on your user or group so i have a one group so i'm going to select this one if you do not have you do not worry about that then you can select your visibility level public private or internal so i'm going to select public one because anybody can access that one and i'll keep the initialized repository then after that, we'll have to click on the create project once you click on the create project, you will get the UI like this. The test repo VS was successfully created. And you can see here, currently we are under the main branch and we have only one readme.md file with this particular content. So for testing purpose, I will create one more file here. I'll click on the plus sign and I'll click on the new file. And I will add the file name here like test.txt and i will add some content here like hello guys okay so this is my content on the test.txt then after that i'll have to click on the commit changes and you'll have to provide a commit message so we are going to create a new file so that is fine add a new file and just click on the commit changes so once you click on the commit changes changes will be reflected on this main branch only okay now you can see so changes has been reflected over here okay just now and from the GitLab end, we have completely learned. Now, let's go to the Visual Studio. So, if you do not have Visual Studio, you have to visit to the Google and just type Visual Studio code. You will get the download Visual Code Studio Mac Linux. Based on your operating system, you can download it and we can work on it. So, I have Windows and I have installed this Visual Studio just now. So, let's start work on it. So, you can see here. How can we get the code from remote repository to local repository without using command? Okay, so you can see here you will get the option like new file, open file, open folder, clone git repository, connect to new workspace with copilot. So we'll have to select this clone git repository. So this is the one way. Second way, you can select it from here as well. Source control on the left hand side, third option is there. If you click on it here, you will get the two options open folder and clone repository so once you click on the clone repository it will redact director here and it will ask you to provide a particular url so i want to clone the repository which we have created so let's go back to the gitlab account and where will where we'll get the url we'll get the url here under the code clone with https so just copy this url go back to our visual studio and paste this url just press enter then it will ask you the location at which location you want to create this repository so i want to create on desktop and i'll just click on the new folder so this is my demo file so i have created demo folder and inside the demo i'll select this repository now you can see a cloning git repository has been started so once done it will show you the pop-up would you like to open the clone repository under the same window or do you want to open the window so i'm going to open on the same window okay so now this is done then you can click on the s here then you can see here a repository name test repo vs and there is a two file readme.md and test.txt 
now i want to modify this file test.txt so simply what i will do hello guys welcome to my channel okay so i have added this content here. then after that you will have to save it using the control s so once you save it then you will get the one here one pending changes so you will have to click on the source control so once you click on the source control you will see like here one changes has been modified see modified it is showing here correct then also you can see it then also you can see it here changes like what we want to do like pull push clone check out fetch commit changes or sync so everything it's available here merge rebase so we don't want to manually enter any command here okay so we can use from here as well so just we have modified the file so currently it is in working area correct now we want to add those file we want to move to the staging area how can we move that so you can see here the plus symbol is here just click on the plus symbol and you can see our changes has been added okay so but in the cli through what we are using we are using the git add command so here we don't need to use the cli interface or cli command so let's we can okay now you you can see it here our changes it is showing currently it is in modify stage once you click on the plus icon it will show the changes has been added like currently it is in stage here if you want to undo these changes you can click on the minus symbol now changes has been undo again so let's click on the plus now changes has been done now i want to commit the changes now i am done with this staging here now i want to move forward so here we have to provide a particular commit message like what we did a uh, modified file with content okay so this is my commit message so once it, once i click on the commit button the message will be display when i will push the changes to repository now it will show you the sync changes sync changes means we have to push the changes to remote repository so once you click on the sync changes it will ask you the pop up like this action will pull or push commit from to origin or main branch so these changes will going to be pushed to the main branch so i am okay with that so just click on the okay but if you have your own branch it will show you the your branch name there okay so then once you click on okay it will ask you the pop up like username and password if you do not configure with that but i already configured those things so it will not ask me now you can see the commit has been done and commit changes on my main branch so let me go back to the remote repository and refresh this page now you can see test.txt has been modified one minute ago and you can see here hello guys welcome to my channel so this is our commit message modified file with content so this is the way guys we can use visual studio to push pull commit the changes and also the other commands also we can use using the visual studio we don't need to remember the commands as well so i hope guys you understood this flow thank you for watching we'll see you in the upcoming session